Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here is your guy, Funky Ben Askren, one of the most accomplished collegiate wrestlers of all time when it comes to pinfalls. This is a guy whose skill set has translated very well to mixed martial arts and a very interesting UFC debut for Ben Askren. You have it no other way. Ben Askren won that fight against Robbie Lawler in the most Ben Askren type of way. Yes. With a bulldog choke, he got slammed on his head, didn't go out, got up and got a bulldog choke to finish. A two-time Hodge Trophy winner, and wrestling, which is essentially the Heisman. He won that two years in a row on the Olympic team. I would wrestle Ben Askren myself when we were at the Olympic Games in Beijing, and you cannot understand the strength and the awkwardness of Ben Askren until you have felt it. He is truly a special athlete. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pilata, the assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. It's hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lands flush with that right hand. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Just over two minutes to go in the round. 
Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, the ground and pound is there. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Now connects with the right. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Final seconds here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him. You ready to fight? Round two underway. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Let's go! Oh, big left hook there! All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here again. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Lands with the ground and pound. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to. And this might just be a matter of time. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear throw submissions. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land and he's trying to land effective strikes. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you, man, the submission attempts keep on coming, going for a choke now. Oh, he's got a choke. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, the Assassin. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before.